But if you close your eyes <laughs> What's up my friends, Gabriel Fernandez here, coming to you live from the studio. God is so good, God is so awesome, and uh, God has actually placed a message of giving in my heart, and I want to share that with you. You know, it's so essential that we give. You know, as Christians, most of our lives should revolve around giving. God loves a cheerful giver, and the Bible also encourages us to give. The Bible says it's more blessed to give than to receive. I want to read you a scripture from Mark chapter 12, verse 41 to 44. And it says, As Jesus was sitting opposite to the treasury, he watched the crowd placing money into it. And many rich people put in large amounts. Then one widow came and put two small copper coins, which amounted to a small fraction of a denarius. Jesus called his disciples to him and said, Truly, I tell you, this poor widow has put more than all the others into the treasury. For they all contributed out of their surplus, but she, out of her poverty, has given. There's three points that we can learn from this, my friends. Number one, let's look at God. Let's look at the nature of God. Let's look at where we can find God sometimes. You know, giving is so essential. God loves a cheerful giver. And God always watches when we give. You know, when you're in church, when you're in a place where you can give, when you're um, online and you're on a website where you can give to a ministry, God watches what you're doing. He watches how you're giving. He watches how you give and He watches the situation that you're giving out of. I mean, in this passage, there's many things that actually stand out to me that a lot of people don't focus on. And number one is, where was God? They found God of all the places He could have been. He was sitting opposite to the treasury. In other words, He was sitting opposite to the offering basket and He was watching what people were doing as they as they went as they gave into the offering basket you know and a lot of people miss this it's so essential that we know when we're giving offering god is there and god is watching so it's so essential that we do it with reverence and we also do it with a, a full heart a cheerful heart you know as we can see in this passage a lot of people came rich people and they put in large amounts they put in very large amounts and this poor old lady this poor old widow only put in two small copper coins. But then, towards the end of this, he says, he tells the disciples, this poor, this poor old widow has given more than all the others. How can it be? How can it be that she only put two small copper coins, they put in large amounts, but she gave more than all the others? The secret lies in how she gave, the situation that she gave out of. It makes it clear that she gave all she had those two copper coins was all she had. But the rich people, they just gave what they managed or what they could. I mean, it was very comfortable for them to give. For instance, if I have a million rands or a million dollars, it's very easy for me to give hundred dollars or hundred rands. But if I only have hundred rands, it becomes very difficult to give that hundred rands away. And God looks at that. God looks at that and it touches his heart. He was so moved. God was so moved. Then he called his disciples and he was like, look at this lady. Do you want to stand out to God? Then I encourage you to give an offering, give something, give a seed that really tests you, that tests your situation, out of your situation, that will move God. Don't give something that makes that you're comfortable with. Give something that you need to give. My name is Gabriel Fernandez and I encourage you, give. Whatever ministry, whatever poor person out there needs help, help them. You are the salt and the light of the world. And it's you to make this difference. You need to make the difference in the world. Other people out there, really, they can try, they can do whatever they, they want to do, but it's you. You're the Christian. You need to make a difference. And I encourage you to give. Give the poor. Give those people who are struggling. Give into the churches. Give into the radio ministries. Give into the TV ministries, the gospel TV ministries. All these things don't come for free. They need money and you can help. I encourage you, give out of your situation and God will bless you. Until we meet again, God bless you and good luck. Ask me a favor. I am a favor. Ask me a favor.